talk about organization a little bit. I uh, would definitely encourage you to uh, old journalist ideas not to bury the lead. Um, so whatever the most interesting thing in your paper is, um, lead with that sentence. Don't don't wait until like middle of the um, paper to kind of give that big boom. Um, explode at the very at the very beginning. Keep in mind this academic counselor, this admissions officer, is reading hundreds of these essays, and a lot of them are going to be about the same stuff. So you want to make sure that your essay from the beginning kind of grabs the attention of the reader. Um, I also want to encourage you to balance your essays towards growth. So this is a very common rough draft issue. Let's say I have four body paragraphs. For a lot of us, if we're talking about a structure that's like, this is something I struggled with, this is how it got better. Most of us will just naturally gravitate towards a heavy exposition of the problem and then just kind of like a very quick skipping a stone over the surface. So here's three paragraphs about what was hard, what I was failing at, what I wasn't doing well. And then the last paragraph is like, I got better. I learned so much from this experience. I'm stronger than I've ever been. It's a very common kind of formula. So if that's your essay, don't don't feel like I'm, I'm not calling I'm not calling you out. It's, it's a lot of essays like that. In your edit, revise that weight. So focus less on the problem and focus more on the solution. Um, the college is less interested in the severity of your problem than in the practicality of your growth. So push that into like a paragraph. Here was the issue. Here's the thing that was like troublesome for me. And then show here's how I grew as a result of that. In that space too, some of us maybe are forgetting to balance towards the present. So we might say like middle school, ninth grade, 10th grade. These were like the real struggles that I had. We need to see you in the essay today as a senior. How has that impacted your growth today? Which again will involve a dialogue with our focus, right? So some of us might realize, actually it would be better to write about something else. Like maybe this topic isn't gonna accomplish that goal for me. Um, all of which is a very good part of this, uh, of this college essay writing process. You are writing an essay that's pretty short, right? It's only like 500 words. So you could try out a couple of them. Maybe you have a couple topics or ideas in your mind. And maybe this is the rough draft that you've written here and you've gotten some advice on it. Maybe you want to throw out another rough draft, a different topic, a different kind of like angle in to kind of crack this essay. Um, it's, it's definitely possible to write a handful of these and see which one is the best one or which Frankenstein monster you can make by combining multiple ones. So a couple ideas for organization revision. Uh, definitely want to think about a strong hook. So like a strong thing that grabs us in the beginning. It doesn't have to be novel or some kind of like, you know, amazing sentence we've never read before. Just something that sparks our interest, gets our curiosity in the beginning. And then something at the end that also kind of like leaves us with a, a deeper question or like a deeper thought. Um, the first would like pique our curiosity and the second would leave us with something to think about. Again, rebalancing fa failure towards growth. I definitely like the structure of an essay that says, I used to be, I used to think, I used to feel, but now I think, be or feel. Um, and I would, again, encourage the focus to be heavier on the growth and maturity. I also would encourage you to see that less is more. And this kind of goes back to that exploding the moment. Instead of giving me like four examples of the same thing, think about like one story that you could tell that shows me more things about you. I'd rather have one story tell me four things about you than four stories tell me one thing about you.